Hello users. So we're going to do today a tutorial on mapping in 3ds Max for W3D and specifically this will be for a path beyond. And we have a new tool set through the SDK which is publicly available and downloadable and it has a few example maps in there. We'll be creating a test map in there. Something very simple like a plane. So you can see here I start out with four viewports typically a maximized perspective one. And you can click on plane over here under the create tab, which looks like a little plus. Literally what you do is you click and drag and you'll have a plane. And that is quite ugly of a color, so we'll change it to something a little nicer. Yay, nice blue. We'll just name it test plane because I'm OCD like that. And you can set its parameters exactly down here, how you want it to look. Um, sizing, how many segments it has. If you want to see its segments, you can press F4 to toggle that. And you'll see kind of uh, what they call shaded wireframe. Basically, wireframe is just seeing these lines, uh, which denote separations between polygons. And so here you have your plane. This is going to be our map today. And We'll just set the segments to 20 by 20. If you ever wanted to go back and edit that, if you had uh, deselected your object, you can go to the Modify tab here. You can select your object, and you'll be able to go back and modify those values. Keep in mind, if we edit this further, like moving polygons and edges and faces and vertices around, um, you won't have this dialog back. You would have to edit those things in manually. But for now, um, you can edit those. And so now we're going to add collision before we go and export it because we don't want to fall through our map. So by default, you may not have this W3D tools uh, utility here. I just clicked on the wrench tab here, which is the utility tab. If you want to add W3D tools, click on configure button sets and scroll to the bottom and you can drag W3D tools over here and it will add it. For now, let's uh, scroll down. We'll see our collision options here. Um, currently, they're unticked, meaning you will fall through it, you will shoot through it, and your camera will clip through it. We'll enable those options. And then we're going to export this as a W3D file to a new test map folder. We'll just call that RA test map or something. We can name our W3D file anything. You can see I'm saving it as a W3D asset. There we go. I think my push to talk key is messing with the dialogues here. So by default, when you hit save, it will bring up W3 to export settings, which is the last thing before it exports. For map terrain, we'll want to do terrain. And just hit OK, and it exported very quickly because it's a very simple plane. Um, so now it's exported. We now have a chop band test uh, W3D in here. And we'll want let's load that up as uh, into a map. We'll go into our level edit folder here, uh, also available in the SDK. Hit mammoth.exe. Hopefully it should point to your ABB release directory. And here's mammoth, which is basically an upgraded version of the old level edit. We'll want to expand our terrain up here and we'll want to add our flat plane as terrain. So hit the temp button and then we are going to just name it whatever preset we want to name it. Go to the settings tab, 
I virtually never mess with light file. Um, I'm not even entirely sure what that does, but we'll want to point our file path to the W3D export that we just did. Chop bam test at W3D, looks good. Once we hit OK, <laughs> looking at the sun now. Once we hit OK, it'll uh, pop up here and you'll see a little T next to it that means to temp. And all that means is it's not merging with the objects.dbb, like if this is map specific to this map that we're making. You won't be able to use it on other maps until you make it a shared preset. But for now, it's just a temp here and that's OK. So with this guy here, we want to create an instance of that W3D file we just exported. So hit make, and there's our blue plane. So my push to talk key is actually the same thing as mouse five. It's the same thing as the rotate key in, uh, in Mammoth. So every time I talk, it's going to rotate the camera. You can see I just panned there. That's using the middle mouse button again, just like in 3ds Max. If you want to move your view around, hold the right mouse button and use WASD, just like you're in a game. And these are kind of the most common controls I use to move around. If you wanted to, um, you could also go to your instance of an object and double click it and it will take your view to that object instance. But for now, we're just gonna place a couple um, spawners. And I know it still says GDI and not, just means allies and Soviet. So we're gonna place these on our map here. Generally, it places it in the middle of wherever you're looking. So again, we'll want to click on our preset here and click Make. That will create an instance of it. You can see we have a T-Pose Allied Infantry. And then we've hit Make for the Nod Spawner. Um, that's a Soviet Infantry rifle guy. So we'll just go ahead and um, run game. Maybe. I haven't actually tested this yet. Okay, for now, let's hit save. Maybe that's what I needed to do. Ooh, failed to give me an error. Failed to load. <laughs> I guess we'll figure this out together. Well, I don't look at crash dumps, so. Let's see, what did I do wrong here? So let's try actually exporting the map to Mix. Don't have permission. Oh, maybe that's why it gave me trouble. <laughs> because of Windows and write permissions in program files. I may, I may need to get a Run Mammoth as um, an admin next time. But for now, we'll go to our desktop. Here's our mix file. Anybody who's a longtime modder or member will know that mix files are map files, or can be map files. Uh, especially if they're prepended with RA underscore, which is actually very important. I think you do need RA underscore for it to work with this game. So I'm actually just going to copy this through Windows to my data folder in APB release, wherever that is. All right, I have cheated, found my way there. And here we go with copying it. Now let's try running our game. You can see test map is here. It is done. And here we are in our blue plane.
Excellent. We can change team. Here we are as well. So that works. Typically, uh, a very quick shortcut to just run the game directly is to go file run game. It's possible Mammoth needs to be run as admin. Uh, I'm actually going to try that real quick and see if it works. Here we are, hit run game. Awaiting orders. You can see that worked. And now let's go back to 3D Studio. And you should have also gotten a proxy masters file in the SDK. It's inside a zip, seven zip folder. And you can actually copy um, objects here that you can use in your map. Oops, that's the TSR one. Oh, I'm using keyboard shortcut. I'm going to show you what I'm actually where I'm actually going for this. Go to import merge. Then it'll bring up this dialog. And you can import any file you want to. We've got a pill box here. And by the way, if your if your pillbox imports huge or tiny, um, delete that and set your units. Go to Unit Setup from Customize. Go to System Unit Setup. By default, I think it's inches. Set it to meters. Then re remerge your pillbox, and it should remerge at the proper size. Okay, and now our pillbox is here. We can place it wherever we want to. And by the way, if you want to move things around, you can use the Move tool or press W. You can rotate with E. You can scale with R. Uh, and scaling will not work with proxies, but it will work with your um, terrain. And proxies are essentially references to presets in Mammoth. Okay, I don't remember exactly where I was, but uh, I had to pause it for a second. Um, so anyway, we're going to place our object, our uh, pillbox here. And we can do a flame tower too. That'll be good. Um, let's place a couple objects around here too, just real quick. We'll go over to Create Tab. And create a cylinder. A box. A cone. And a pyramid. And I'm going to right click to exit the pyramid tool. And I'm actually going to hold control and select each of these objects. Now, with these four objects selected, I'm going to go over and set collisions on them so that we can't just drive through them. Now, let's export this boy. We'll hit uh, chop bam test. We'll just replace that W3D file. Now over in Mammoth, you want to reopen your uh, test map file. You can see everything just populated in automatically. And there we go. We've got all our things, we've got our map. It's very basic, but that's the essentials.